types of couples in school. This is gonna be an interesting video because we've all run into these couples in our life at some point. Like, there's no way you haven't seen any of these. So, we'll just jump right in and start with the cringy couple. Bro, oh my, the amount of times I've heard them come up with the dumbest phrases to call their significant other is crazy. Bro will be over there sweet talking his girl in the hallway. Or maybe even in the middle of class and I'll be over there like, Oh, I love you, my sugar poo muffin. Like, shut up. That is just a one-way ticket to getting flamed, bro. Like, you are in a public setting. And then they always had this, like, baby what? voice they would talk to each other in. And it would just be in incredibly annoying. Bro, boo, I don't want to go to class. I want to see you. It's just giving me ear damage doing it right now. I really don't see these relationships lasting. It's like one big honeymoon phase and that John's over. And I mean, who wouldn't get mad at baby talking at some point? That shit is is just cringy and speaking of angry we got toxic now we all know there's like that one person out there who's just fiending for toxic relationships they just want to be treated like absolute shit so well they try to find a toxic girlfriend that will step on them or a toxic boyfriend that will yell at them because somehow this will make their life more interesting like no you're gonna have more problems in drama why would you even want that shit and this relationship usually lasts same thing just for the honeymoon phase and that john's over and speaking of not lasting we have that the day couple. Now, this one was usually in elementary or early middle school. People would literally get with each other on the bus on the way to school, and then on the way back, they're like, I don't know if I can do this anymore, John. What? what? B -b Jessica, please. I love you. But yeah, Jonathan's gonna forget about Jessica once he turns on, like, Xbox or whatever. Like, motherfuckers really saw each other and thought it was true love on an elementary school bus. That is nuts. Next up, we got my girlfriend slash boyfriend goes to another school okay now this is just certified cap if you've heard anyone say this in your life they're just lying straight to your face because there's no way they just say oh my girlfriend goes to another school you wouldn't know her like they i guess they just want to act like they got a girlfriend just to say they have one and just brag about it to people i don't really get the point of that relationships are supposed to be long lasting memorable but no it's just none of these because you don't even got a girl and at an off chance that one of them does actually have a partner at the other school well uh w i guess i don't know but i'm sure they don't go around bragging like oh guys i i have a girlfriend uh she just goes to another school someone has had to say that to you at least once in your life pda now schools have a really strict rule when it comes to pda in the hallway like you know i you know i just personally me i don't want people making out next to me as i'm taking shit out of my locker then yeah not a big fan of pda but but obviously if they're just holding hands or whatever it really isn't that deep. And then the principal would always get mad when he sees people holding hands. Hey! Stop holding hands in the hallway. If you did read the school handbook, you would know there was no publicly displayed affection, okay? Uh, calm down, you two lovebirds. <laughs> the janitor's closet couple. <sighs> or the bathroom. You, you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> I don't know what turns you on about a musty school bathroom. That's all I'm saying. Or some bleach and a mop in a janitor's closet. Ugh. And there would always be rumors going around about this couple like, yo, yo, guys, do you see that new kid over there? Jacob, see that kid over there? Bro, he got that sloppy in the janitor's closet. Yo, that's crazy, bro. That's probably how he got expelled, dude. What? And everyone went nuts once they heard that because, well... Who the hell does that at school? The hallway couple. This couple, they're always together. They walk each other to class. They never separate unless they don't have a class together. And that's it. They're always together. You walk by them like three times during the day. It's like bro's gonna start breaking down if he doesn't see her for like a minute. Like it's insane. And that same guy will be daydreaming about her in that class even though he just saw her. The attention couple. This couple was in middle school and of course they would get together for attention. You Usually in middle school when people got together, everyone would make it a big deal on their Instagram profiles or Snapchat or whatever. They put some shit like cake in with the fucking lock emoji. 5-7-2017. Oh my god. Of course, they would make it a big deal. They will post their partner all over social media. All over social media, I mean it. That's literally their entire page. And what happens when you break up? You gotta take everything down. So, I don't really see the point. They just make being in a relationship their entire personality. 
Teen parents. I guess you just don't care about your own livelihood if you're this couple. Why would you ever go in raw? Like, that? that's like life ruining right there, especially when you don't intend for the baby to be made. This couple right here is the example of why you should never go in raw. Like, you gotta keep that strap on you at all times. And yeah, basically, yeah, they gotta take care of a goddamn child while they're in school. And it is. It's very sad because most times these people can't afford to take care of a child and pay child support and all this other adult shit while they're in school and they can't get a full-time job either because they're in school it is just tough it really is i've heard stories about this one i'm sure you've heard stories too but i haven't had anyone at my school like that but maybe you did the oh. serenader that one guy that just sings to his girl thinking he's fire oh. thinking he's like the next bruno mars over there hey baby i'll catch this grenade for you and then he would put this on his Snapchat story singing to his girl or whatever. I don't know. You know what? Maybe that one's a bit too specific. The pressure couple. This couple. They don't want to be together. It's either one of the people in the relationship or other people or like their friends telling them that they would be an insane power couple. Like no one would stop them. And then the, the relationship would end in like two weeks because guess why? You forced it. And for some people, it's so forced to the point where they don't even do anything together. Not even sit at the same level lunch table. Sit together in class? Hell no. It's just so unnatural and forced. Like, then they would text you two weeks later like, yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. Like, yeah, no shit. For the streets. Or for the highway. These couples, they cheat on each other. They're not loyal. So, how are they even couples, bro? I don't know. Like, it just doesn't make sense. If you're together, y'all gotta be loyal. Like, you're making a commitment, bro. You can't go out there and just Fuck three bitches, bro, and act like nothing happened. Then be a whole public drama at the lunchroom like Jessica's yelling at John for cheating or whatever, or vice versa. Situationships. Now, these would never happen. And some people would just make up the craziest situationships for no reason. Where technically, I saw Luke and Katie talking. Oh my god, they might be in a relationship. But it's now my mission to tell the entire school. Like, bro, yeah, and then they would just tell the entire school. Like, why? It's like I talked to a girl once, and I'm reminded remotely nice in the conversation. It's either I'm a simp or I'm in a relationship, apparently. Like, I don't fucking know. Like, holy shit, it's insane, bro. But these situationships people are making up, it's just annoying as fuck. Just mind your business, little bro. This is why I kept all that business private. I did not want anyone at my school knowing. Because they would spread that shit like wildfire, especially if you were the quote-unquote popular couple. I don't know, everyone really liked this couple. They gassed them up like crazy. Everyone in the school wants the girl, and then every girl in the school wants the guy. There was always that one girl that every guy would talk about and then they would talk about how they want a cuff or whatever. Yeah, that, obviously everyone wanted a chance with this girl and every girl wanted a chance with that guy whatever, etc. Then you got the complainers, bro. Anywhere you go, alright, they will be in an argument. They'll come up with the most petty shit to say in an argument in order to win. Okay, are, are we good? Or are we good? Are we, are we done fighting? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I just think it's funny uh. that they'll just like come out with the left hook out of nowhere. The I just think it's funny phrase. Meaning they're about to pull some petty shit out of their ass crack and use it to win the argument. I'm like settle that John like adults, bro. Like what, what are you doing? Then you got I can fix her. Now this guy, he is long gone. Bro think he bobbed the builder out here and he can fix this girl that's like extremely toxic. Just a red flag galore basically. And bro would find her attractive and say, you know what guys? I can fix fixer no you can't look then he come back four months later like never mind like you're not fixing nothing bro up to them to change not you and i forgot about one couple the one that's probably the most questionable the freshman senior couple <laughs> but yeah if you're a real one click that playlist right there watch some more videos obviously you enjoyed if you made this far bye